Hey everybody, this is Larelia, and today I want to continue my conversation that I was having with you about zombie debt. That's right, zombie debt. I know it's now the month of October, like I mentioned in a previous video, but I want to continue with the conversation that I had in hand. But I want to talk to you about, um, about zombie debt in a different angle. Um, I want to talk about how it can ruin your credit report. Now, remember in the last video I explained to you that there is a period of time of when the account can be collected on, which is based on your state, along with the period of time that it can appear on your credit report, which is seven years, as long as it's in the hands of a debt collector. Now, you may be wondering, well, Loria, how does that happen? How does it happen that if you pay that debt, which is after the statute of limitations. That's right. These debts have a statute of limitations. If you pay those debts after the statute of limitations, you have now re-aged the debt. The worst thing that you can do, and that's why I did a, a part two of this video, is that when you re-age the debt, you have now given the authority for the debt collector to now put a new trade line on your credit report and stating information that may be true or false. But see, the thing is, is that, number one, any information from a debt collector is always derogatory. So what happens is, is that your credit score gets lower. And I know you may be saying, well, Loria, I just want to pay my debts off. And like I said, I am not here to convince you not to pay your debts. If you really feel like in your heart of hearts you want to pay that debt, by all means you go pay it. But if your goal is to increase your credit score, if your goal is to truly fight against debt collectors, then you need to understand this. Because re-aging a debt is the worst thing that you would ever want to do to your credit report. All it does, it puts derogatory information on your credit report, and then your score can get lowered. Remember, you said your score was to increase. Your goal was to increase your credit score. So why paying a debt to have it re-aged just to pay it? I want you to think about that for a second. That is why it should be removed off of your credit report. Because you don't want to ruin your credit. See, the, the great thing, and that, that's another thing that I want to explain to you. The great thing about zombie debts, which is also known as time bar debts, are, is that these are easy debts to remove off of your credit report. All you have to do is send a letter to the credit bureaus letting them know that this debt is now past the period of time and that they must remove it off of your credit report. In previous videos, I've talked about the FCRA, and the FCRA, which is the Fair Credit Reporting Act, the credit bureaus have a responsibility to only report true information. And that is why it's important that you know the period of time that the debts do appear on your credit report. So you will be able to recognize zombie debt when you see it. So once again, this is really I just wanted to give you that, sh that uh, I wanted to do part two of this topic of zombie debt. And once again, I look forward to talking to you in the next video. If you're still interested and want to know the period of time in your state of when debts can be collected, I'll put a vi I'll put a link in the video um, right under this video. And also, if you want to receive the first half of my book, Jumpstart Your Credit, How to Settle and Negotiate Your Debts in 10 Steps, which became an Amazon bestseller, I'm also going to put a link under this video as well. So once again, this is Larelia. Talk to you next video. Bye-bye. To have the trade line deleted from your credit report. So I'm going to assume, and like I said, this video is regarding if you're dealing with a debt collector, not with the original um, creditor that you actually got the account from. That could be Visa, MasterCard, a store card, gas card, or what have you. It would actually have to be a debt collector. That is what I'm referring to. So say, for example, you currently see your credit report, 
and you see an item that you want to settle. Now, like I said, what is your goal? Is your goal to increase your credit score? Is your goal is that you just want to pay the debt? Let me explain something to you. And it, it is not widely talked about, but it really is a double-edged sword. There are some people that truly just want to pay down debt. They understand that they've signed a contractual agreement for what it is that they've accumulated the debt and that they want to pay it off. And I understand that. But then there are some people who want to increase their credit score. Now, the thing is, is that once you get into the negotiating process with a debt collector and you decide, you and that debt collector decide what the amount is you're going to pay, the best thing that I could tell you is to get it in writing. Get in writing the agreement that you and the debt collector decided on. 